<laughs> Unbelievable. Um, with that said, I get a quick three minutes to speak from my heart about what this day means. And I'm going to just tell a very short story about being a little color girl in Port Booty. And I thought about what I could say and what resonated was um, being a little girl in Port Moody, white mother, black father, that came to this country uh, during the, the civil rights movement because of their first daughter who was born with a disease. Um, and it was unacceptable to be mixed in those days. So it was very hard to find a hospital that would take. It was white only, colored only. So they basically made the decision to come to you know, the land of the free, because the United States of America was not the land of the free. So my story is every day. I, I would not say it was a day I did not come home, or my brother, or my sisters, there was four of us, that we didn't get called the N-word, that we didn't get stepped on, or golfed on in those days is what it was called, that we didn't get held down in Nelson position, making to say, you have to say this, you have to say that. It was the norm. It was something that happened every day. And one day I was out playing with the one girl that was allowed to come to our house in the backyard playing tetherball. And I started, it was, we we're choosing whose turn it was. And I said, eeny, meeny, miny, moe, cat, up, by the toe. And my mother, Laverne, kind of went to the window and called me. She's Connie, because in those days, don't call me that now, in those days. <laughs> <laughs> I was called Connie, and she called me in. And she talked to me. where it came from. She gave me the history of the slaves. She gave me the history of why they moved to Canada. She also made me realize I was different. That's why I had that nappy hair. That's why, you know, I didn't look like the other kids. I hadn't realized, because I was a kid, as we called, we were little fuzzers. I didn't realize I was different. From that day forward, I realized I was different. I realized there was hatred. I realized there was anger. What I look back at now, it wasn't the kids. This was coming from their parents. There wasn't a day that my mom was not down at that school talking to teachers who would not allow me to go to the bathroom when I put my hand up, who would not allow my sister to go in the cloakroom because she'd steal something. This was the history of what my family went through in the 50s and 60s, and it was the norm. What I love to be able to bring to the, this room today is not once did J-Mo, my kids are now in their early 20s, not once did J-Mo or Dylan come home from La Coba Lang or Sir Winston Churchill School with a complaint that they caught called the N-word. Not once. I mean, there are all kinds of other things, but not once. <laughs> <laughs> all kinds of other things. But not once did my kids come home because of racial discrimination. It is huge that we are where we are today. It is huge. And I'm so greatly appreciative of this mayor and council and past council um, for acknowledging our history, for making it It really has not always been that way. And the fact that I'm an elected, the fact that we have all of these beautiful faces, every color of brown in the rainbow, mixed with every other color of the rainbow here today and there's no crosses burning outside <laughs> you know, there's no people out there waiting to shoot me which there was for my mom and dad this is a huge step it's leaps and bounds and i think what this month needs to become is we need to teach our children when they are using that n-word because they think it's all bad <laughs> and they think it's a cool thing to be saying it's not a cool word to be using Unless, of course, it's in poetry, or it's politically being used. Because I know those rappers are out there using that word. But sometimes I can understand how it's being used. I think what I'm saying is this is our opportunity to look around, look at this history, teach our children, listen to our elders, listen to the people that have come before us, respect the work that they have done, because that's what's gotten us here today. And it is incredibly powerful to look around this room.